Hi, and welcome to the sixth video of the Clarity PPM Getting Started series. I'm Katherine Ellis, a Product Manager with Clarity PPM. In our previous videos, we saw how you can use custom investments to create a strategic plan and then use roadmaps to present it to the executive team. We also saw how you can quickly evaluate and approve ideas and then create projects that help you implement the strategy. In this video, you will learn how you can find individuals who are available to staff a project in Clarity by using the resource management module. Let's review the project that we previously created. The project already has an architect allocated to it. We will now identify and add other resources to the project. When we discuss resource management, you need to remember four key terms. Availability is referred to as the capacity of a resource. Allocation is referred to as the demand for a resource. Assignments refer to the various tasks a resource is assigned to within a project. And actuals refer to the hours entered by a resource in a timesheet for the work effort. Let's start by identifying the developer we need for the project. You can use the staffing page to check the availability of a resource. Let's use the Resources to Investments view to review the current resource allocation and identify potential resources. Because we are looking for developers, let's use a filter to get a list of all the developers in the organization. We can use additional filters, such as the Resource Manager and Resource OBS, to narrow our search results further. We can see most of the developers are allocated to existing projects. However, Aaron and Jim seem to have the bandwidth required for the project. Let's allocate Aaron as a developer for the duration of the project. We can also use the Request section to replace a role with a resource by using the Detail panel. Let's use the Request section to add a business analyst to the project Clarity PPM gives you extremely powerful resource management capabilities such as soft, hard, and mixed bookings, and the ability to view per-period metrics to help staff projects seamlessly. You can review our documentation to get more information about these capabilities. I am sure you now understand how you can effectively manage resources in Clarity PPM. Thank you for watching this video on getting started with resource management. In the next video, I will help you understand how you can track the time resources spent on a project by using timesheets. For more detailed information about this product, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page.